turns out that the world of the really small is full of clever things we can use. The surface of a lotus leaf repels almost any liquid. A super close look reveals the secret. Tiny hair-like bumps that cause drops to roll right off the leaf. Maybe we could mimic this, making a coating to shield airplanes from ice buildup. Once, it was a mystery how a gecko could walk up smooth glass. Gecko feet are covered by half a million tiny bristles that branch into split ends, each with a pad on the tip. The structures build up an electrical charge that attracts them to the surface, adding up to incredible sticking power and a model for a new kind of robot that could climb almost anything. A spider also harbors secrets. Spider silk thread is pound for pound stronger than steel, and yet completely elastic. Imagine what we might build if we could produce a synthetic version. The first step is getting a closer look at spider silk. The journey could take us all the way down to what we call the nano world. The silk is a hundred times thinner than a human hair. On it, there's bacteria. Near the bacteria, 10 times smaller, a virus. Inside that, 10 times smaller, three strands of its DNA. And nearing the limit of our most powerful microscopes, single carbon atoms. Four of them are the size of one nanometer. Welcome to the nano world. This incomprehensibly small place is the new frontier. Exploring it will lead to huge changes in our lives. Our most advanced microscopes can now see this. Individual atoms, though fuzzy, proving years of scientific theory simulated here. And not only can we see them with the tip of a powerful microscope, we can actually move atoms and begin to create amazing nano devices. Some could one day patrol your body for all kinds of diseases and clean out clogged arteries along the way. Tiny chemical machines of the future may even repair DNA. One of the wildest things about the nano world, substances here behave differently than the same material does in our world. To us, gold is golden in color. But nano gold can be any color. It absorbs light and generates heat, leading to an idea. Injecting nano-sized gold particles into the bloodstream. which are chemically coated to attach to cancerous cells. An incoming laser beam heats the gold particles, burning the cells. The promise of nano goes beyond medicine. Another material with far different nano properties is carbon. The same breakable stuff 
found in pencil lead. At the nanoscale, it has mind-boggling strength. With it, we've created the world's thinnest material, graphene, one carbon atom thick. It's harder than diamonds, but nearly as flexible as rubber. Turned into a roll, it's called a carbon nanotube, one of the strongest and lightest materials on Earth. With it, we could one day make things we can only dream about today. It may even be possible to use carbon nanotubes to build an elevator to space. We are on the threshold of extraordinary advances, born of our drive to see all that's hidden in the world around us. On a summer evening, under an endless rain of cosmic dust, the air full of pollen and skin flakes and bits of everything on Earth, people go about their lives. Happy birthday. Surrounded by the unseeable. Knowing there's much more around us than we can see forever changes our understanding of the world. Who knows what waits to be seen? What new wonders will transform our lives? We will just have to see.